Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where you get practical steps to help you become the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Welcome back to another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I make personal development easy so that you can achieve your goals, do all the things you put your mind to, give you that motivation, and so much more. You like the sounds of that and you're new here? I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a rating and review if you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And refer it to a friend as well. Today's episode is all about celebration. We celebrate me publishing over 200 episodes of the podcast. And it's been a long journey. And in this episode, I just want to express all the things that I've learned. My growth as an individual, my growth as a content creator, my messaging. And I also want to share with you the power of consistency on anything that you choose to do, like how much consistency has worked out for me, because I've been showing up every single week, skipped a few weeks here and there, you know, went on a couple little breaks for holidays and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm showing up every single week and I just want to encourage anybody who's trying anything and just just feeling like they haven't gotten there yet. I want to encourage you to keep on going. We're going to talk about it later in this episode about the power of consistency. If you want to get into podcast creation or content creation, I'm going to just give you all my advice that I've learned over the years because it's been a lot. It's been so many things that I've learned that I wish I knew ahead of time. So I want to help you get to your goal much faster than I did. Before we even get into the episode, my past week, it was like it was a it wasn't that good of a week. I got through it. I was cool, but I was in my head all week. Everything that I wanted to do, it seemed like it just did not happen. Everything went wrong in my week. So I wanted to have the the PDF out for you guys, all the steps to help you overcome procrastination. It works partially, but I'm still working with different developers and things like that to get everything synced together so that everything can flow. So you can still get it. You can hit the link down below, but you only get it through email. But I also want to give it to you through text as well. Something that you can have on your phone accessible at any given time. So that's been something that was a hard time for me because I worked on that so much this week that I got nowhere. I was like, dude, I spent all this time trying to get this thing done. And I just had to separate myself away from work. I had to separate myself away from my daily activities. My desk, my new desk didn't come. I ordered the desk that I can raise up, you know, to, to where I can stand because I sit at my desk so much that my back is is hurting. Sometimes I have to really take a break, have to focus on it a lot more at the gym, get massages, chiropractors and all that stuff. I'm like, dude, I need to figure out something else because this is not healthy. So my desk didn't come. Amazon and gave me to run around, talk to five different people. They telling me different things. So it was just a frustrating week overall. I went ahead and got a manicure, pedicure just to relax a little bit. That bothered me because they didn't do it right. It made me feel like I was a woman. Like they didn't do my nails right. I'm just over there like, look, I want to get a buff. Y'all don't have a buff. Like this lady is just being soft on my feet. Like you got to scrub and get the callus out. You know, women, at least my ladies out there, y'all know what I'm talking about. Like when you go now, I know what you mean when they like, they didn't do my nails right. I can relate to you now because mine didn't come out the way that I wanted them to. It's not like I'm getting a design or anything. It's just a specific look that I go for when I go get my nails and feet done. They do it a certain way. And I'm like, it's simple, but obviously it's not that simple because of the language barrier. And I'm not about to keep on going on about that, about no damn nails. But (laughs) I just wanted to let y'all know that my week wasn't the best, but we got through it and we're here today. And I want to say thank you all for hanging in there with me, taking me throughout your day, throughout your life, throughout your week, whether you're working right now, driving. I want to say I appreciate you for inviting me into your life. All right, that's enough of that. You know the usual. Check out the links down below. But other than that, we're diving into today's episode. Let's go ahead and get right into it now. Twenty nineteen is when I thought about starting a podcast. I actually looked on my list of goals that I had for twenty nineteen. I had a list of them. I accomplished every single thing on my list. I said I wanted to start to write a book. I wanted to work on myself. I wanted to get to working out like physically. I wanted to start a podcast. And it was a few other things that I hit on my list. Well, I pretty much hit everything except a couple of things, which are invest into a startup company and buy a few rental properties. But everything else on my list, I hit. And one of the big ones that I hit was starting a podcast, which I started in May. 
I think May 19th or May 20th was my first episode that I had released. And if you go back and listen to the first episode, you can hear the difference in my voice, the uncertainty in my voice. But there was still passion there. It was still a lot of passion there. And I knew that I wanted to do it for a reason, because that's when I have faced my dark times. That's when I have faced my low moments. I was in a good place financially. I was at a good place like I had stability in my life, but there was still something missing. I was still feeling like there was a gap in my life and I couldn't identify what it was. I became depressed. I became stressed out and I just couldn't get out of that space. And then that's when I started to discover personal development. That's when I started to seek out information to help me better myself. And I came across different books. I came across other podcasts, YouTube channels. And one thing that really sparked me and stood out was that there weren't too many people that look like myself. And when I say look like myself, I'm saying black males that are out here in this space. Even now, when I go to self-improvement and I look through the podcast list, there's not too many black males in this space. And I feel like there's a gap there because there's a there's a perspective that can be shared that's not being shared now. Not saying that everybody else's perspectives aren't different, but there's a new perspective that that I can share that people can connect with, if that makes sense. So that began me on my journey to create the podcast. And I didn't know what I wanted to talk about, but I know that I wanted to help people. I knew that that was the goal of it. And my mission and my my messaging, my voice, everything changed over time. Everything grew as I grew as an individual, grew as a creator, grew my message. I grew myself like just as a whole person, I learned to get connected to myself mentally, emotionally, spiritually, not just physically, because I always thought like, hey, I'm good physically. Everything else I don't have to worry about doing this podcast helped me develop as a whole person. It helped me find out more about meditation, it helped me find out more about deep breathing, about chakras. It helped me broaden my horizons. Basically, it helped me broaden my horizons And I just want to say I wouldn't have came across that if I hadn't hit my low point. If I was like, if I didn't challenge myself, if I didn't think beyond where I was and want more out of myself. And when I began, I didn't really know how to podcast. I hadn't, I don't think I had listened to too many podcasts at that point, but I knew that there was information out there. And then that's how I started to discover podcasts and I started to dive into them a little bit more. Having conversations with other people. With people that were around me, people that I was meeting when I was at work, since I was working in an area where these were people who were successful in their own right. These were people who were who had already reached the point that I was trying to get to. So being able to have conversations with these people, learn more about their life journey, their mentality, seeing books that are on their shelves, things like that. It just broadened my horizons and it opened me up to more that's out there in the world, what's possible in the world. Before that, I felt like I was limited. I felt like I was living inside of a box that I didn't know much beyond those horizons. I didn't know much beyond what my day to day was because I wasn't exposing myself to many other things. I wasn't taking those things serious, even though I was around them for a while. I didn't really start to engage with those things because I felt like I wasn't ready. I wasn't in a space to where I was going to consume everything in a healthy way. Just because I'm seeing these nice things, just because I'm seeing these things to that I could use as motivation later in my life. I wasn't in that headspace. I wasn't ready to receive what was being given to me. And that was something that I realized later as I thought more, as I become more of a deep thinker. I thought like, dang, all these things have been in your face this whole time, but you just weren't ready. And I say that to say this. It's going to be different things that we come across in life. But just because you come across them and they're good, just because other people recommend them to you, you may not be ready to receive that message in your life at that moment. But you're going to come back to it eventually and it's going to make sense. You're like, dang, that's why that happened. That's why that thing was being presented to me. So now when you go and you think about that past experience, you think about that, those things that you were exposed to. Now you're able to take in the lessons. Now you're able to consume all the information that was being fed to you. And that was one thing that I learned along the way. I'm like, everything is coming into full circle now. Everything is beginning to make sense. Not knowing how to podcast, I just knew that I needed a mic. So I started out with with my phone. I started sitting in the closet. I was sitting inside of my closet with the clothes hanging up because I knew that I needed great sound as I was doing my research. They was like, hey, just hang some covers over your windows, hang things around so that it can absorb the sound. I was like, why not just sit in the closet? So I literally sat on the floor inside of my closet (laughs) 
and recorded my podcast for maybe the first, I'll say 15 or 20 episodes, maybe more than that. And I used to edit on my phone too, because my computer at the time, it could not handle the software to help me edit. So I had to figure out ways to edit on my phone. It was a process, y'all. I'm telling you, it was like started from the bottom, like real bottom, like you starting with what you have. Just start with those messages. Start with with the basics. Just start to get your voice. And I feel like it served me well at the time because it allowed me to to look back and see the progression. I didn't start with the best mics. I didn't start with with everything that I needed in the beginning. I just started with what I had. And that's what I'm going to tell you to start with what you have. Start where you are. Many times before we begin to do something, we think that we need to have it all together. We got to have all the answers. No, all you have to do is start where you are and then you're going to learn. You're going to know what you need. You're going to know what's good quality, what's bad quality, what things will work for you, how how you want to go about your route. Because we'll start something and then we'll consume so much information. We'll consume so much information that we don't even make any moves. We get that analysis analysis paralysis where you consume so much information that you don't know which direction to go. You just have to take that first step. So if you listening to this right now, you feeling like I want to do something, you've been overthinking it. Just step, just start to take that first step. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. And it's going to help you because you're going to grow along the way. You're going to be able to add on and become better. You're not going to just start like with the best of the best. You're not going to start with the best of experience. You're never going to start like that. You just have to start where you are and you just have to continue to grow. And as I was saying earlier, I feel like I've grown as an individual because I found peace within myself. I found clarity. I found purpose. I found community. I found a lot of different things that I didn't know that I needed that made me feel nourished. It made me feel like, like, okay, this is this is what good feels like. This is what the other side of that depression feels like. This is what the other side of that confusion feels like. And I started to enjoy it. I started to embrace it. And I started to make that part of me. And I wasn't ashamed of it because before I was always ashamed of, I wouldn't say ashamed, but I wanted to hide that part of me. I wanted to hide that side of me because I didn't want people to judge me. But now I'm at a place where like, no, accept me as I am. Like you don't see me posting me meditate. You don't see me posting just like things that I'm into. Like I got into my plants. I got into wine. And some people may feel like, oh, that's weird. Like, especially where I come from is like, oh, that's some weirdo stuff. Those are things that I wasn't exposed to, but I discovered that really helped me feel like a, it felt whole. Like I said, it made me feel complete. And I learned to just be me unapologetically. That's one thing that the podcast has taught me because there's a community of people out here that's going to connect with you. That's going to connect with the real you. I I never wanted to be someone that I wasn't. I always just want to be myself. I'm not sitting here trying to talk proper. I'm going to come and talk to you as me. Like, this is me. I can talk hood. I can talk Ebonics. I can talk like, you know, I can talk that talk, but I also developed and added other layers onto myself. And this came with me learning how to read more, learning how to seek out more knowledge, learning how to seek out more information and understanding that it's not bad just because I added a new layer to myself because I'm not, I'm not the same person I was before, but I am the same person, if that makes sense. Meaning when I say that, I mean that I'm still I still have all the things that that I grew up with, but I also learned that I have to add on and be able to to mold myself in different environments, be able to fit in in different environments, engage in different conversations with different crowds of people. And I've been able I've been able to do that because I went out and I seek something else. And that came with me with my growth over the years. And I still have struggles right now. I still battle with things myself. Because I'm human. I'm human. I'm a human. Like I talked about earlier, how I didn't have the best week. How I was frustrated, stressed out a little bit. Like it just wasn't a good week for me. I still have those days. And I feel like that's why I'm able to share with you and help you along your journeys, because I know there's someone else that's going through that, that don't have the same mental capacity. They don't know how to deal with it. They don't know how to translate this language of what's in their head right now. So I help you detangle all the things that's in your mind, help you get that roadmap to where you want to go, because you may be on that path, but you're like, you know what? Am I this feeling? Am I feeling? Am I wrong for feeling this? And I'm like, no, I dealt with that. So I share my experiences. I share things I've been through because I wish I had that when I was on my journey. I wish I had that when when I was lost. I wish I had someone who spoke my language and me being able to 
to mold myself in different environments help me make connections with different people, not just people that look like myself, but people on outside races, people from different walks of life. And I'm able to find a common ground. No matter who you are, I'm pretty sure we got more in common than we don't. For one, we all human. We all living on this earth trying to create our best life, just trying to live peacefully for the most part. I don't think many people going around like, man, I just want to cause drama. I just want to cause trouble. No, those are circumstances that cause people to go towards those things, which I, I totally get. And I can relate to those people, too. I can go to different neighborhoods and around the world and that around the country and be able to, to relate to those people. But I can also go to the suburbs and be able to sit there and relate with those people as well. I learned to develop better habits and I understand what it is that I want for me in the long term. Breaking it down into those small daily actions that I talk about, breaking it down and and do, practicing all the things that I'm preaching to you, not just saying these things, but I'm also applying it in my life. And that's why I'm preaching it to you, because I've seen how it worked. I've seen how things come together at the end. You don't see it in the moment. You don't see it from all the small actions that you're doing because you don't put value into those things because we want that gratification. But that gratification comes in the long term. Seeing the bigger picture of what I'm doing now, knowing where I started is it's totally different from where I'm at right now. My vision that I had before, it wasn't this big because now I'm able to see how many people I've touched. And this is just me scratching the surface of what I'm what I'm going to accomplish in the future. So far, I look at my stats sometimes and I'm like, that's amazing. That's crazy that I've touched people in 110 countries so far. I actually just put up my stats and I've touched people in 110 countries. I've had so many different emails, messages and people from different walks of life that that's been able to connect and say that my information has helped them. My things that that I've put out here has helped them in some type of way, whether people discover me through search, whether people discover me through recommendations. I want to say thank you to every single one of you listening. You just don't know how much this means to me. And I get emotional and it helps me as a person just feel like I'm human. It helps me to know that I'm putting out good things out here in the world that people are benefiting from. And this episode is more to be of encouragement to anyone that's striving for more, whether you want to start a podcast or you're just facing life. You're just facing things that you that you just want to get past in life. You just want to live a good, hopeful life. And that's what this episode is about, to encourage you just to continue to go. Because for the past, even within the past two years, I faced some of the like things that may have broken a lot of people, things that I didn't thought I was going to get past. And I'm still here today. So I'm telling you, if you own a road to create something better, don't allow the momentary things to discourage you. Don't allow you not feeling like like you behind or you want to be a little bit further to discourage you. Continue to move forward. All of these things shall pass. You're going to face obstacles multiple times in life. Just continue to roll with the punches and you will get through it. I'm here. I'm sticking to my sticking to my mission. I'm sticking to helping everybody. And that's my that's my passion. That's my purpose behind this all. And I want to say it's all possible because you believed in me. You listening to me right now. It helps me to know that I'm doing something right. I don't care if it's 10 people listening. I don't care if it's one person listening. If you hearing this, I want to say thank you. I do this for you. I do this to encourage you on your journey because I know life is hard. Life gets to us sometimes. And I want to say I get it. And I'm on this road with you. That's why I made that connection. That's why I made that connection of you being able to text me and me just really engaging with you, not me trying to sell you anything, just me building a genuine connection with you as a human. Just you knowing that you're not on this journey alone, you knowing that you have someone you could reach out to, whether you feel like I don't want to bother you with my problems. Like, no, you're not bothering me. That's why I did it, because I wish I had someone that I can speak to. I wish I had someone who can relate and who's been through some things. So that's why I created this platform. That's why I created everything that I'm doing now It's for you It's to help you because I see how much of a of an impact it is. I see how much is needed in the world. And I want you to understand the power of setting a goal and not just setting it, but sticking to it. Don't get discouraged by any of the struggles that you face. You have to accept the changes and move with the current. When you look at yourself, I want you to look at yourself as a body of water. When you see a body of water. And it's going down like a river or something or a stream. It's curving, it's swinging, it's going with the flow of everything. That's what I want you to do, just to go with the flow. Don't try to change it. Don't try to go against it. 
be able to adjust and move along the way because our life is just like a river. It's going to continue to go, but we have to go and adjust because it's going to be many challenges. Just like that river it got that rock right there in the middle of the road. Nope. That water just go right around it. You have to look at your life that way. The biggest obstacles we face in life will always be the one in the mirror. We always will be our own obstacles because we inside of our mind. A lot of times we overthink it. We have these aspirations. We have these visions and we sometimes look on the outside, but everything starts within that outside noise will be there no matter what. It's all about how you respond to the outside noise and how you internalize it. Build your mental strength. Build yourself up mentally. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Continue to push yourself, continue to trust, believe and get out your own head. We're going to sit there for a while, but we can't sit there forever. Anything you choose to do in life, if you're consistent, it becomes inevitable, meaning that it's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. My biggest advice for anyone thinking about starting a podcast or you just want to create some type of content, whether you want to make an impact on people, you want to do um, entertainment stuff. The key to it is consistency. Because the thing is, if you're consistent, you become a part of people's lives. Like you expect these episodes every single Monday. Like I know Dorian will drop an episode every Monday. So now you taking me on your journey with you in the car. You listen to me at the gym. You listen to me while you're cleaning up. So I become a part of your routine. Anything you choose to do, know who you're talking to, what problem you're helping them solve. And then it's different for entertainment purposes. You know, those are different type of channels because that's just more of like, I wouldn't say clickbait, but more of like entertainment, you know, just it's entertainment. It's not education, which it was what I'm doing. So I'm speaking from the educational standpoint. If you want to make an impact, you want to do something that's going to help other people, whether that's sharing your story, whether that's sharing a certain message is stay consistent, stick with it no matter what. And don't look at the high numbers. You look in the seat. Oh, I'm, no, I don't got I don't have a thousand subscribers. I don't have 10,000 people listening to me. My things don't get that many views. It's okay. It's a slow build. And that's the reason for consistency. People see like, okay, they're showing up all the time. They're showing up every single time. And what happens with that is you get better. People see the progression. They see you grow as an individual. They hear your content grow. So if you're choosing to to do content or if you've been thinking about it, I say start doing it and just remain consistent. Be able to, to adapt to the environments. Like I said, with that body of water, you always want to adapt yourself. You always want to be able to move around those different obstacles. Go ahead and choose a different path, but still go to your same goal. Sometimes we get a little distracted. That's OK. And that's going to happen with life. So that's one of my biggest things I can say. If you don't take anything from this podcast, I want to say if you starting something, if you chasing a goal is just remain consistent. As far as me and the show, I still have a lot of things that I want to do with. it. I'm still continue to produce episodes, continue to put it out. I still want to join um, specifically the Black Effect podcasting network just because of like how much respect I have for for Charlemagne, for what he's done and his growth as an individual. I still want to join the network and I'm I'm manifesting it like it's going to happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow, but I'm manifesting that it's going to happen for me because I'm a big believer in manifestation. I'm a big believer in putting things into the universe and just allowing things to fall in place where they where they may. Everything's not going to happen when you want it to, but when it needs to. And I feel like that's something that's going to happen for me because I feel like I'm a powerful voice and that's needed inside of like as a as a black male, just to have that different perspective. But having that be amplified by being supported by someone with that type of platform, being able to communicate and I would not really communicate, but have that type of mentorship to how can I navigate around this and continue to grow this as an individual and how can I get this to where I could get it to fold over into the rest of my endeavors that I want to do, which are like the talk show, create like different TV shows and different movies for, from my perspective, because I feel like there's, there's a, there's a lack of black male voices and not just media, but also in entertainment. And I feel like I have a great story to share and I have so many different things and different ideas that I have written down, whether that be movie ideas, TV shows, it's a lot of different things that I want to do in this realm which I never even thought about before I started this podcast. But now I see how powerful it is to have your own voice and to be able to share your perspective. And I feel like I have a great perspective. I have a great vision of what I want to give to the world and what I want to show people and not just black people. I'm not I keep saying I keep emphasizing that just because I'm speaking for me, but it's to help 
other individuals. It's to help anyone, no matter what race you are, no matter what your religion may be, no matter what your sexual orientation may be. I don't care what you believe in. But if you believe that you deserve a better life, you are in the right place. You are listening to the right podcast. This is one of those things where where everyone can use this information. I know they say everybody's not your audience because my core audience is for people who who want to do better in their life, but they just need a little assistance. Those are the people that I really help where you know that you want to go beyond where you are, but you just need that extra push. Those are the that's my core audience. But the information is it can be used by anybody at any point in your life. I have trust me, I have. 200 episodes that you can listen to. So I'm guaranteeing that you're going to find something that you can connect with. Other than that, I just, I'm going to just keep on grinding it out. Keep on staying consistent, uh, staying consistent on YouTube. That's another thing that I'm, that I've been working on just being consistent on there. New videos up, actually click the link down below. Just about my morning routine that I made uh, last week. So we, we just going to stay consistent. We're going to continue to show up. I'm going to continue to build this into an empire to where I have a team of people, whether that be producers, whether that be people that are helping me with content or just me giving people an opportunity to to come and be a part of everything that I'm doing. I'm doing it all like that's the long term vision. And I'm going to continue doing that again. I want to say thank you to everyone for all your support so far. It's helped me. It's encouraged me. It it gave me a reason to get up every day and just continue to do the work. And I can't say thank you enough. I'm one of them people that like recently I got I've gotten really emotional. I think that came actually when when Nipsey passed away and seeing George Floyd, like I became really emotional because I realized how precious life is and it can be taken away from you at any given second. So I become more emotional because I'm showing gratitude. I'm like, dude, I'm really still here from losing friends and losing people that we see in the news. It's like, damn, like it could be really taken away from you that fast. So I'm grateful for every second that I've been here. I'm grateful for everyone listening. I just want to say thank you. And I'm I can't say thank you enough, honestly. I'm my eyes getting watered up right now because of how grateful I am to be in this position and to continue to add value to the world. Um, again, thank you for supporting me on these 200 and so episodes so far. And we're gonna continue to grow as a unit. We're gonna continue to grow as a community. And never hesitate to reach out to me. Like I said, the text link is down below. Go ahead and reach out to me, introduce yourself, say hello, leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts reach out to me on IG. But other than that, that wraps it up for today's episode. I want to say I look forward to continuing to build with you and continue to see your growth as individuals. Uh, You hear that outro rolling in. That means go out there and enjoy your day. And remember, everybody has greatest within, even you.